hey guys welcome back to my channel this video is to show you guys how to create your own satin hair bonnet if you like to see how i create this look keep on watching all right so this is just showing you everything that i used i have my scissors my elastic which is only one inch my measuring tape my local of choice which is obviously chanel i have one yard of the black satin fabric and one yard of the off-white satin fabric and then i have my iron on glitter transfer paper there and this can be found at your local joann's or fabric store i'll be sure to leave everything in the description box all right so we're going to start off with the first sheet here this is going to be folded in half and you're going to want to fold it in half again this is so we can achieve a uh, perfect circle uh, cut out So once I uh, fold it twice, I'm going to take my measuring tape and I'm going to measure down 15 inches. Um, I decided to go 15 inches because I want my bonnet to be large, uh, more so for a protective style so that way I can put my braids or like my faux locks that I have in my head currently in the bonnet. And then I'm measuring down um, on both ends and in the middle. And I'm going to add a couple more pins to line it all up so that way it gives me a guide. So when it's time for me to cut it out, I have a more even cut, if that makes sense. So once you cut it out, you're going to take your second sheet of fabric. And you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to fold it in half. And then you're going to fold it in half again. And then I'm going to take the piece that I just cut out and put that on top of there and I'm going to cut it out. <laughs> okay, so once you cut it out, you're gonna take it apart and you're going to want to face these right sides together. Uh, make sure it's the right side. Um, because we're going to pin it all the way around and sew it closed and flip it inside out. So yeah, make sure it's right sides together. So next, we are going to pin this thing all the way around. Be sure to leave a gap or opening so you, um, when sewing, so once you sew it together, you have some type of opening or hole to flip it um, inside out. And then that one pin that's going sideways, that's just where um, the part that I'm not going to sew. Okay, so now I'm going to sew. I'm just sewing a straight stitch. Be sure to take your time with this, guys. Don't rush it um, so you don't make mistakes. But yeah, just do a straight stitch um, all the way around. Um, just make sure you don't um, close sew that little opening close all right so now I'm just going to cut off the excess fabric and once I do that I am going to fold I'm sorry I'm going to flip this thing inside out so you're going to flip it inside out and then um, flatten it out and you're going to do the exact same thing that you just did you're going to uh, pin it all the way around what I did was I measured about an inch and then pinned you want to leave uh, like an inch maybe a little bit more than an inch like an inch and a quarter maybe like something like this um and then you're going to do a top stitch all the way around this time you're not going to leave any openings you're going to sew all the way around the bonnet and it's going to look like this this is for the elastic band so now we're going to take the elastic band and we're going to chase it all the way through so i use a clothes pin a clothes pin is really uh helpful when it comes to doing this it's very hard to try to chase the elastic all the way through by itself the elastic pin just kind of gives you something to grip on and so as you're doing this make sure the other end doesn't um, go through the uh, bonnet or else you'll lose it <laughs> in somewhere in the bonnet 
so now that I have that I'm going to take that elastic and I'm going to overlap them on top of each other and sew over it a couple of times I did a forward and a back stitch a couple of times just to make sure it's extra secure and that part that's still left open I just took the ends in like that and I just did a top stitch all the way on the edge of the bonnet there and there you go all right so now I have my logo what I did was I printed out a logo off of Google and I cut the logo out and once it's cut out I trace it on the transfer paper and I cut it out and this is what I came up with so now it is time to apply this logo on the bonnet here. So I just simply just tried to position and figure out where exactly I wanted it. I wanted it more so in the middle. So once I figured that out, there's this paper that's on the back of it. Just peel it off. Be careful when you peel it off. And the back is a little sticky. So yeah, just make sure you're being careful when you peel it off. Get some fabric. Um, don't put direct heat onto it we yeah, just iron it on and then this is what you come up with <laughs> i'm talking a little fast guys and i do apologize but yeah super easy super simple thank you guys again for watching this video i hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye